Okay, so the first orientation is the two masses far apart. And so I'm going to let it go. And we're going to just time how long it takes to rotate. And so that's our eight rotations. And now we're going to do the two masses close together. And rotate it back up to the top. So we're back to the beginning, lined up with that one leg. And so we're ready to go with two of them next to each other in the middle. And we're going to let it go. In three, two, one, go. And so that's our eight rotations for that one. And now we're going to do them stacked in the middle. And we're going to rotate it back to the beginning where it was at the top. Again, lined up with that one leg. And so again, we're ready to go. And we're going to let it go for the eight rotations. And three, two, one, go. And there's our eight rotations for that one. So again, you're going to want to time those with your phone or some other device and compare um, which orientation of masses was the fastest. Was it when they were farther apart, next to each other, or stacked on top of each other?